May 4, 1988, 15 miles outside of Henderson, the Pacific Engineering and Production Company, or PEPCON, burns out of control. My God! That's intense. I've never seen such a explosion over there. I hope nobody's hurt. The product PEPCON manufactures? Ammonium perchlorate, a crucial ingredient in rocket fuel. Television engineer Dennis Todd videotapes the blaze from nearby Black Mountain. The crew and I were on the mountain doing routine maintenance on a television tower. Looking at it, the brilliance of the fire was something like I'd never seen before. Look at that flame spread, will you? Rodney McCarroll also watches the growing inferno from a neighboring building. My plant was about 1,200 yards from where Pepcon was at. We could see people who were scrambling and, and fire hoses breaking out. And we saw that they were trying to fight this fire. Inside the factory, Pepcon employee Roy Westerfield realizes the true magnitude of the emergency and calls 911. Fire department. Emergency. We need the fire department. All you can get here what's immediately. The, what's the problem? Oh, we, we got everything's on fire. Close to 1,000 rescuers respond to the call, including Larry Sullivan. I knew what was in there. I know they store a lot of uh, uh, fuel there. And in fact, this day, there was approximately, from what I hear, 9 million pounds of this stuff stored there in plastic drums. Before Sullivan and the other firefighters can make their way to Pepcon, the chemicals, exposed to intense heat, finally reach the point of combustion. Oh! Ooh, that's going to be loud. The magnitude of that sound when it reached us uh, was still extremely large for something that traveled over a mile. You can't tell me people got out of that. Oh, no. There's got to be hundreds. But the destruction has only just begun. Minutes later, two smaller explosions ripped through the desert. Oh, there's another one! Well, they had all that fuel stored up. And then another one! You could see people actually literally running through the desert, trying to just get away from Pepcon. Four minutes after the initial blast, the fourth and largest explosion erupts from the factory. The explosion is so intense, the shockwave vaporizes a nearby factory and registers 3.5 on the Richter scale. It was just like a wall of water coming at you. And I remember it literally picking me up off my feet and never touching the ground. I mean, it literally picked me up and threw me at least 40 feet. An estimated 7,000 homes and businesses, some more than two miles away, suffered damage from the blast. Incredibly, despite the magnitude of the destruction, only two lives are lost. More than a decade later, it's difficult to find visible signs of the disaster. Even Pacific Engineering has relocated to a different state. But the memories run deep in Henderson, and its citizens cannot easily forget the moment that changed their lives forever. I thank God how lucky we were that day. You can't believe how lucky we were that day.